Hello and welcome back to Railway Empire 2. We are back in England at the moment anyway. Birmingham is massive and needs a new industry but we need to save up a little bit before we can do that. And there's been a big update hasn't there since our last outing and I made sure that this map is still working and I went through and played chapter one again and the good news is things are working a little more like they should when you set your rail lines up they tend to work now as you would expect them a lot less head scratching which is great shall we build something in Birmingham uh, we should have enough money for it what were we going to build? I completely forgot because I got distracted by our wonderful update. And uh, it did fix the... It's fixed a few issues. It did fix the issue I had with our train sitting and blocking the uh, gridiron. It usually happens when you spawn a train. It doesn't happen when, uh, when a, a train is just running its route. If it pulls into the station and it's loading... It'll free up the gridirons either side. So yeah, it's only when a train is purchased that it can cause a bit of a bit of a snarl up at your station. So nothing to worry about. I haven't seen it happen too much since the update. Uh, I can't remember it happening, so that's a good thing. So let's bring up the uh, supply and demand. The only thing that makes them grow is delivery of goods passengers do not affect city growth but they do affect your bank balance and the bigger a city the more passengers are going to take your train so you have to do a bit of both expansion is going to cost money and uh, the more people you got in the cities the more money you get right then what what should we do we should go for something that uh, we're lacking that isn't already on our map Furniture is one, isn't it? Furniture is... Uh, yeah, we don't have any furniture close. We have furniture up in Carlisle, which is preparing for Liverpool to possibly make planks and set up a little line, a freight line, another freight line heading into Carlisle. Cambridge has grown, but we've already built an industry there. We've decided we're going to go for furniture. It's a 542,000 coin. <laughs> I have to remember that they are coins. Industry. So we're just going to plonk you down in there. And that will get uh, Birmingham growing. And then Oxford will be possibly our next target for the uh, 100,000 population. They are up to wooden planks at the moment, aren't they? Or close to. They're at 57,000. Uh, we can build us the city building, though. We can afford that, can't we? Yeah, 93,000. So that's going to help them grow. Uh, Birmingham can't have one. And London already has a university, which is why they're so big. If you've got this selected, the library, and you go around your map, any city that shows a green area can can have it built or has the potential to have it built in the city so you can see cambridge isn't big enough oxford was big enough and they got one uh, it shows london because we can change the university to a uh, a library again but there we go that's a it's a nice little feature that i like that a lot okay so birmingham birmingham will be growing a little quicker now as we start to produce our own furniture we're not at the moment let's hit play yeah we're just going to start building that there we go 0 0.1 the uh 20 which is now 30 percent goes towards their fulfillment of demand as you can see we're up to uh, 80 i was going to say 84 percent but uh, we we uh failed somewhere well it's not failure but uh we ran out of goodies for them didn't we somewhere along the line i mean there's a lot going on here it's very difficult to keep their happiness up on such a small map we're not far into our gameplay goodness me what 
is our competitor doing? Surely that is a little expensive and perhaps not the best way to get round. What, what are you trying to do there exactly? You're not heading anywhere. You've just made, you've just made a loop around Plymouth. Did you, I don't know what he's doing there. <laughs> I really don't. There's no stations on this loop. Is it a scenic one? Am I missing a trick here, AI? What is that? That's brilliant. Did he go out there hoping to get into Plymouth and then just gave up and, and looped back round? That must have cost an absolute fortune. Dear, oh dear. Anyway. Oh, well, I have actually set up this goal to make fun of you. Well, you made it. Well, look at that. He was going to be cheeky and uh, it backfired. We have reached 30 million in company value. And the only thing we've got left now, apart from connecting uh, two extra cities, is the uh, two cities to reach 100,000. And Birmingham is all but there. We'll know when that happens as they'll cap out and we can build them a university just to make sure they don't keep dropping below 100,000. So it's going to be Oxford. Oxford is where it's at at the moment. We do supply, well, we should supply planks to Birmingham from Oxford. Yeah, they've got two at the moment. We may need another train or separate them. Might be a better idea, but uh, it's a short run, isn't it? I don't know how much uh, you're carrying. They're both mixed. I believe this is automatic. Yeah. So we should eventually deliver what we need to deliver there. And we do have this spare station in both Birmingham and Oxford. So perhaps we could set up a quick little freight only. We don't exchange anything here, do we? It's more of a passenger line. It would, it would free up the platform a little bit. Depends how nice the... Uh, the journey is i guess we could hook into here and make use of parallel tracks yeah that's kind of nice isn't it we can make use of the existing supply tower and it's a zero percent run all the way in i love it there we go we'll double track you get us some uh, direction of travel sorted put our grid irons in and then we'll change the current route to Oh no, do you know what we don't have? We uh, access the warehouse there. We'll change this one to be the passenger route and that one can be freight. That'll be fine, won't it? Yeah. Although we we then <laughs> we've got a we've got a slight issue here because we do have the restaurant in Birmingham, so that'll be a bit of a waste. We could swap over where our warehouse is. Um, or we could mirror the warehouse. We do have a bit of funds. Sure, let's do that. Let's get uh, a couple of maintenance buildings in. They are important. I like that. It's only going to cost us 131k. And that way they should shuffle that across to our second warehouse. What do we need? Corn, wood, meat, beer, milk. Can I remember that? <laughs> Corn wood meat beer what was the other one milk is that right <laughs> i hope so corn wood meat beer milk i did it guys i remembered okay now we can set up a little freight line running between the two we'll probably run two trains in here freight only and we could run the cheaper one because we're out the way of everything and that means we can stick a caboose on for a bit of extra income and power. And uh, we're going to do 28 miles an hour. It's nice enough, isn't it? There we go. Get you running. And for our other service that's running this little route, we can change you to be an express. And we'll stick a caboose on you. Possibly change you as well over to our express train so that our passengers love it more. There we go. Confirm you. We'll hit play on that. We've now got a separate freight line. 
running into Birmingham, which could possibly be a warehouse now in Birmingham, but I think we'll be okay as is. Are you going to actually load anything? Well, there's your answer. Goodness me, we were probably jam-packed with passengers, weren't we? It's good to see planks heading to Birmingham now. Well, that was a good fix, wasn't it? That's going to help us in both directions. Yeah, there we go. We have four planks on the way, which is our first freight train. Our second freight train should spawn once he heads to Birmingham. That's the plan anyway. He is waiting. Absolutely expected. We have to keep an eye on the map. There we go. Liverpool has grown. Now, I said I was going to make planks here to feed Carlisle with furniture. However, aren't we able to make use of paper? We are indeed. Uh, Bristol, we could hopefully make grow and give them chemicals. If we stick paper in Liverpool, I think that's going to help both Birmingham and Oxford grow. Especially if we switch this into a freight station, we can even change which platform we're going with uh, the Jennings stop run. That that might be useful. We do have a warehouse here where we're shifting over sugar, so we might be able to bring some stuff back, perhaps, and take it out to Hollyhead. I do want to make a nice little coastal route for Hollyhead. So let's give you paper, if we can afford it. We can indeed. It's not that expensive at all, is it? Well, we could go that way. I'm going to go this way. Out the way. Liverpool got big. Fast. So we now have paper. What about Manchester? Are you close to a library? You are. York is growing rapidly. Also, oh, you know you can. You can have a library. There we go. We'll get a library in York. What about Cambridge? How close are you? You are at 45,000. Dover is growing and growing fast. Oh, it's lovely. It's lovely, guys. Yeah, Plymouth and Bristol, we're not really doing much with. But uh, now what we can do, I, well, in fact, could we? Could we disconnect this? What do we have running in there? It's just a freight train. Yeah, considering we, we head that way, this might not be a bad idea to have our freight run into there instead of where it is currently running. Oh, did I need to delete all of it? Not really, but we do have the supply tower down there, so it's okay. Right, let's get you drawn back in. Hopefully it's a, a nice run in. Oh, it's beautiful. 0% most of the way. We're only 1% just there. What I'm thinking here is we can possibly add us a, um, a nice warehouse, once we can afford it, in Birmingham. And then we can pass paper along to Oxford because we already have our freight line here. As we need to get Oxford growing, don't we? Paper is far down the list. But uh, once they get there, we don't need to worry about it then, do we? We'll know there's a connection for them. Salt. Salt's a bit of a tricky one to get down from the north. And I believe the north is the only place we can get it from. So, let's set up this warehouse. Our money's going up so fast. We are close to half a million a week. That's impressive. Warehouse for you, and we'll set up paper, ready to go. Do we already get sugar? Do you know, I don't think we do, do we? Or not easily. It, it comes from down there, but we'd have to we'd have to jump over his tracks to get it in. Uh, we do pass it over from London, but it wouldn't hurt having another source. Yeah, so we'll stick in sugar. We can do the same, couldn't we, heading this way? Yeah. Dropping stuff off to Liverpool. Milk. We only have one place where we can get milk. They can get it from Manchester, but we can possibly get it closer. Uh, via York. As that's only one stop away from London, where the where it comes from. Uh, we need paper, don't we? 
Let's get paper. Is it paper or toilet roll? <laughs> it's paper. Oh, I thought it was toilet roll. We already supply furniture in Birmingham, so that will go both directions. Now we need to change our train over that stops via the sugar, which is currently broken, I would imagine. Let's get a, our train up and we'll change your stop again. I think we've changed it from Birmingham 2 to Birmingham and now we're changing it to Birmingham 3. But uh, it should work quite nicely. There we go, without too much messing around. In fact, looking at our funds, we can go caboose and double up on that, I think. Yeah, we've got a bit more to do, haven't we? Ooh, that should do. I think that should do quite nicely. Birmingham is growing fast. They're going to hit 100,000 rapidly. It's just our second city. There's going to be a bit of a mission. Uh, I don't know who it's actually going to be. I'm going to say Oxford. They're at four pips, aren't they? They're a level four city. Manchester is close. And there we go. We can place a library in to help them grow, which is going to reduce the amount that you have to send to them. Oxford still growing. Well, we could have put the uh, library in sooner and that would have helped our, our cause a lot, wouldn't it? Anything else we could pass over? Uh, maybe corn. We could maybe take corn from Birmingham over to Liverpool. Uh, it wouldn't hurt having Liverpool growing. They are going to take the paper into Oxford, though, eventually. We will have to set up a little line here, won't we? Are we going to use this line? I mean, it's not terrible, but it's a bit steep. And we could maybe do something better with that. We do have a research point. I don't feel like there are any things we can buy for one, though. That would be another thing that I'd like to see fixed. Uh, similar to how Railway Empire works. This only shows up when you've actually got points to spend. Okay, let's get rid of... Uh, we're going to pause it. And we're going to get rid of all our existing infrastructure that we purchased. I guess we could do the same with this one. I'm not keen on it. Get rid of that. We'll build our own if we want to. We'll get rid of the station as well. It's not serving any purpose other than being there. There we go. It's in the way, kind of, isn't it? We can get rid of... We can get rid of this line... And maybe have a better run in. So, yeah, if we hook up to the, the grain a little tidier, we'll get rid of that and, and make a better connection. Maybe even use that as the connection. That might be a good idea. Should we get rid of this as well? That was expensive. And we did a better job of that, I think, anyway. And we don't need that there any longer. Anything else we need to get rid of? That'll do for now. We've got a two million in the bank. Could we pay off one of our bonds? We could maybe pay that off. That seems a bit excessive. Let's build us that nice little uh, route. Oh dear, this is, this is going to be a challenge. We can use our third station in Liverpool. We need a new station in Hollyhead. And that will be our fourth, no, that will be our twelfth city connected, won't it? Uh, we have eleven, I believe, yeah. So this is city number twelve, Swansea's going to be the last one. This one makes sense because we can hook up that wood on the way somehow. Uh, just how we get over there is another question entirely. We are going to ride this though, if it looks okay. What I'm going to do is just connect straight in at Liverpool. <laughs> well, we could, we could do something like that, but that's not uh, very coastal, is it? Let's give us a point here. It's going to take some serious wiggle jiggle to get over there. But I would like, if possible, to keep the grade down to as close to zero as possible. Which means lots of wiggle jiggle. There we go. Zero there. What colour are we on? We're on this sort of mid-green, aren't we? And I think we head down a little bit, but not too far. We'll keep this... Oh, I guess we could try and go for max round here. 
it won't be easy, will it? I think we're going to have to lose a bit of speed. So, how much speed do we want to lose would be the question there. We'll keep it at 0% if we can. There we go. And we'll send that out round there. Up to 0 if we can get it. Perfect. Another dot into you. Follow the terrain as best we can. In fact, maybe we can have this a little slower than usual. It would make sense, wouldn't it, for a coastal route. This needs to head up a touch. There we go. All right, guys, there we go. Much wiggle jiggling was done. We slow down this. We don't go max all the way. I could have built tunnels. I could have built bridges. But my plan was to have a bit of a scenic ride at the end of today's episode. I have no idea how long that actually took me. I was mesmerized. Mesmerized with wiggle jiggles. It cost us 78.6k. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, we only spent 34k on earthworks. So we're going to get this connected in and we're going to switch over to there. So we'll pay up front for our platform and then we'll get you double tracked all the way. Uh, it probably wouldn't be double tracked all the way in real life. In fact, I don't know if there is a Hollyhead to Liverpool line. I would imagine there might be in some form. Maybe multiple branch lines. And we'll get our direction of travel in and that is where we are going to take our our nice ride i didn't realize it was quite that much of a uh, an embankment going on but it uh, at least next to the next to the coast there it's sort of sort of okay isn't it it's fairly flat all the way there we go i do like this bit that's kind of lovely isn't it so that's going to be our cab ride at the end. Let's get in some uh, necessary buildings at the very least. We're going to get uh, the maintenance depots placed in there. Now, how do we get wood into Liverpool? How easy is this going to be? It's going to be rough, isn't it? We're up no matter what we do. We could go down here perhaps, but that, that just seems a little excessive. Maybe we can sit over here and and crawl down, perhaps. Uh, it'll be a little steep, maybe. If it's not too terrible, we'll stick with that. We might need to make a bridge. Yeah, do you know, it's not too, it's not too horrible, is it? Oh, it's a 7% grade, Grand. It's awful. Well, maybe we can get away with it. There we go. Let's head down. Oh no, it's it's fine. Look at that. We just need to get that uh, that speed limit off. Although we're only going to be taking freight trains down here. So they can only do 20, 30 miles an hour max. We don't have to make it too quick, do we? There we go. That's not, that's not terrible, is it? Make our way down quite nicely. Uh, yeah. If we stick that up and put that up a little bit. Double track you all the way round. It wasn't expensive. Let's get direction of travel sorted. We will have to get some supply towers in. Possibly close to the station as it's nice and flat there. That would make a lot of sense in real life, wouldn't it? They did fix the uh, signalling on the supply towers. Yeah, that was one thing I wanted to tell you about. So... Our trains no longer slow down through supply towers. Isn't that good news? That would help uh, your score a little bit because all your routes would be that little bit faster. All right, we've got a nice little connection there. Let's get a freight train running into Liverpool. Uh, no, you can't yet. What have I forgot? We don't have a gridiron at our logging place. We'll also need a supply tower over here. We might as well put it in before the, yeah, before the embankment thing. Right on the hill there. 
Now we can get a train running in and we'll run freight only. So we'll go with the GNM American. It's got good tractive power so we can cope with the hills. We can we can maybe go with the caboose. I, I'm going to go no because I'd like to carry as much as possible. We'll start with minimum of four. That should do. Keep it moving, won't it? It should see them get most of their goodies. Right, what do we need to Hollyhead to Liverpool? We can go with a couple of mixed trains, I think. Automatic. We'll go with the our fastest one, our best, our most powerful as well. Rhine. Yes, we'll go with the caboose on this one. And we'll have two on the line. A little bit pricey, perhaps. Right, hit play. We've finally got a connection out this way. That's lovely. Are you going to be taking plenty of wood? I would imagine so. Oh, are you... Are you really not required? Yeah, you're not required. Well, that's good to know. Uh, near Hollyhead. It's not expensive, is it? Yeah, we'll take it. As long as no one else bids against us, which they don't. Where are those vegetables? Near Hollyhead? Oh, goodness me, I've bought that, you absolute burk. It's not really near Hollyhead, is it? It's kind of near Carlisle, I guess. It's slightly closer to Hollyhead. Well, maybe we will build something there at the end. I'm looking forward to riding our little, uh, our little line here on the coast. It's kind of lovely. You can even see our little logging station over there as well. Oh, you, you chocker block. Look at you. You're laying on that whistle, aren't you? What is this? These are interesting. It's decided to place uh, dwarf signals out this way. I wonder why that is. Oh, that's kind of nice. Yeah, you go. <laughs> I love that. This would have been a perfect place wouldn't it, for a dwarf signal down here. This might be different because this is before the fix, isn't it? Yeah, this is way before the fix over here, so they might change, but I don't want to reset any of our trains either. This would have been a lovely place for a couple of uh, dwarf signals. I'm hoping that's the way they do it eventually anyway. Right, Birmingham has hit 100 thousand we're gonna stick a university in for birmingham if i can find our library there we go you keep growing birmingham why not oxford is growing at a tremendous rate especially since we placed our library in there what are you up to now you're almost up to cheese Sixty-five thousand is cheese that will come direct from london that's lovely yeah, well, do we need to send wood anywhere? I mean, it would be nice, I guess, to send it to Manchester. Do we have a mixed service running this? Uh, automatic, we do. So we could pass it across, couldn't we? We could set this up as a, a warehouse and we'll pass across beer. I don't think we need to pass across beer. Or do we? No, we get it from London, although it wouldn't hurt having multiple options. So we will pass across beer. Uh, we could take, uh, I guess, why not? We could take sugar to Hollyhead. That would be an option, wouldn't it? And we'll get that wood in as well. So over in our other warehouse, we can now, we can now pass across wood and beer. Where's our wood? There's our wood. There we go. Wooden beer. That might get our little freight train moving. Where are you taking that all to? Hollyhead and Liverpool. Oh, obviously, we could go the other way from Hollyhead. They would like us to connect this grain farm up. Ah, uh, sure. Depends on the lay of the land. If you're okay. You're kind of okay, aren't you? Yeah, it's not awful. We could go sit this side, I guess, and down a little bit and we'll just hook into a, a single platform at uh, at Hollyhead that's not too bad is it that's kind of lovely 
There we go. No need for a tunnel and no need for an extra platform. We'll just run backwards and forwards on our own. Freight only. And we'll use the G and um, American caboose. Why not? And wait until you have at least four loads of corn. And away you go. Are you actually going to take anything? You should do. You are... Yes, you are going to start taking some corn. Perfect. And we'll stick a maintenance building on. The cheapest chips these days. Money galore. We could look at increasing delivery. We do have two research points now. Anything special? We do have a few rural businesses. So that's a possibility. Tunnel construction, not really bothered about. We're not going to build any tunnels. Let's do it. Let's increase the... Uh, the profits of our single oh is it just that what we've got oh no we've got the sugar as well yeah we've got the sugar that's fine oxford oxford is surprising me they're growing quite quick i do love it they're at 107 percent fulfillment of demand go us cheese is next on the list how are you doing with cheese we might need to upgrade that since we've got the funds let's upgrade you i should have checked to see if we've got enough milk coming in how much do we have yeah we, we're taking enough we have two trains running that where are you running from cambridge oh guys someone told me about this in the comments i can't remember your name but thank you so much <laughs> i forgot i absolutely forgot i read the comment three times and i couldn't figure out where i'd missed it but it's quite obvious now because this is the cambridge to london liverpool street which is now turning around up at the uh, up at the milk there because as was correctly spotted we don't have a gridiron outside liverpool street which we are going to address right now. There we go. Thank you for the comment. I forgot to check multiple times. <laughs> we have it fixed now. We have it fixed. It's beautiful. Yeah, lovely. Oh dear. That train's been doing that for how many episodes has that been? Well, that should have fixed it, shouldn't it? Yeah, there we go. It's all fixed now. Fortunately, doesn't matter too much, but it, it, yeah, a little bit, uh, a little bit sloppy by yours truly. We're good. Could we make more wood in Oxford? More planks? I would say, yeah. Why not? Why not? We had the supply. I think we've got plenty of wood in here, don't we? Yeah, ninety-nine of ninety-nine. We could stick us a, a nice maintenance building on there. And we do have two trains running. And they're probably full as well. Beautiful. What do we have in London? This is a warehouse, isn't it? Because we, we couldn't put Paddington in. There we go. We're fixing up our, our lines a little bit. We don't have any issues with fueling. How's our Apple situation? yellow have decided to join in on the apple action and uh we're up to level four goodness me that's impressive i say that's a good place to end it guys we're going to take a ride on our marvelous i hope it's marvelous anyway our marvelous coastal little local rail network between hollyhead and liverpool out that way and uh, this train or one of these trains heading in will be the one we're on. Probably this one. There we go. It's flying in. Perfect. I'm going to pause it right there and save it. Uh, before we do, let's have a check on the state of play. We are 2 of 3 and we are 12 of 13. Of course, we're going to leave Swansea till the very end. Uh, but what else do we need to check on? That's right. Oxford's growth. They are almost at 70,000. They should start to get cheese, I hope, soon. At 70,000, they're going to have to get salt, which is going to be a, a bit of an issue. So we might have to skip salt. And then we move down to furniture, which won't be an issue. Because Birmingham, 
we can in fact before we go let's upgrade our furniture there and uh, let's upgrade our clothing why not why not we can afford it dover has grown all right we're not going anywhere just yet what does dover want to make i'm going to give them ceramics and they're never going to make it we could of course give them meat possibly but it means getting cows in from the other side of england which uh not not really ideal getting it from over there but we, we do have them yeah that'll do you just uh make pretend to make ceramics we could maybe get the coal in it's not really important though oxford is the place we need to be how is cambridge doing before we go you can have yourself a library you've also got a fixed rail route into liverpool street and uh, carlisle can have themselves a library all of our cities nearly have a library uh, and if they don't have a library and they're big enough they have a university oxford we need you to grow all right guys we're on board our Hollyhead service Ah, oh, that was a lot to do today wasn't it i'm pretty impressed with the amount of growth we've got in our cities and uh, when we come back i think oxford are going to be our final city to hit a hundred thousand and i'm looking forward to that guys thank you for watching and until next time take care